we're going to go visit Spartacus the Sulcata tortoise. Come on. Come on, Sparty. Come on, man. Oh, Jesus. Who's that? <laughs> That'll sound nice on there. Sure. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this thing off. See if I can get him out of it. Well, here he comes. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on. Sporticus is a rescue. Yeah. From Wiki Watch. Somebody found them in the yard up there. It's less than half that size. You know, have a guess at how old he was? I have no idea. Somewhere we're probably around eight years old, give us give or take a few years. Not knowing not knowing his history or how well you can tell by the scalloping that he wasn't raised properly. Oh, okay. This should be a smooth shell, mm. and it's not. So it'll always be like this. It's not. It's not as bad as it was when he was smaller, but it'll never be smooth. <laughs> and here, there's a there's there's heaters in here. Is the reason he stays in here, and then he just comes in and out or moves around in there. If he, if he moves over here, he gets less heat. He moves over here, he gets more. Oh, ah, okay. So he kind of yeah, hot cold zone. Yeah, he regulates his own temperature. And then he comes out when he feels right. Cold. And then to keep this down, it helps keep some of the the wind out. If it gets too windy, I have a burlap sack that falls down here if it's the if it's raining. But with the raised the raised platform in there, um, the rain never goes in and gets him wet. And in the summer we have the shade screen to keep it a little bit cooler. This is like, like they, they do this in like a freezer when you go in the freezer. Mm -hmm. and, and, oh yeah. And then I add this to it if I need to to block it a little more. But he didn't like that. No, I guess not. Sorry yeah. about that. Yep, that's Ted. Ted. My grandson named him Ted. <laughs> but he's a he's a full grown adult. And that's a Florida box turtle. That's a Florida box turtle. Yep. You are only allowed to keep so many of these, but he um, I adopted him. Now did he it was. We, you adopted him from a, somebody who... Yeah, he's, he's, not a, he's not wild. He's not from out of the wild. He's... Uh, uh, some, somebody had him. What do you feed him, Dennis? He, uh, he eats a, 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 a little bit of a lean ground turkey mixed with turtle food. I put the I mix the turtle food in there, mm -hmm. and, and the turkey just keeps him interested in eating it. But I can't give him too much because I had another turtle, and I made him too fat. So I got to be careful how much I give him. So I just kind of watch how he's. How do, you, how do you tell if a turtle's fat? Well, they start bulging out these cracks here. Like oh. um, he won't be able to close his shell. Uh -huh. Like 
like a fox turtle mm -hmm. does. See there? Yep. And this won't close and it gets too fat. Plus it's not healthy for them, so. Yeah, it's not healthy for anyone to get too fat, is it? <laughs> I don't have any history on him, yeah. other than anything other than the people didn't want him no more, mm. which is usually the case with a lot of reptiles. Yeah. Where they don't have room anymore. Yeah, the people, they don't, they're not devoted to the animals for their lifetime. Me, I have them in my will. <laughs> yeah, this is in my will, the tortoise in my will. Well, you kind of got it. I mean, in case of, of Spartacus, because he's going to outlive you, isn't he? They're going to outlive you, man. I mean, that's all there is to it. Anyway, that's Ted. Mm. Now, that is a... That's a gravid... What kind of snake? That's a boa constrictor. Boa constrictor? Yeah. Just a regular common boa. And how do you know if they're gravid? Well, you could... One, I've had her with a male, and the male uh, did his thing, but you can see the, the scales separating here and, and her swelling. Mm -hmm. Plus, she's gaining weight and not eating hardly anything. Okay. So the babies are growing in there. This size female could have 25 babies and they're all born alive birth. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. I've had as many as 32 in a bowl. But the cages are all numbered. And then in my emergency plan right here on the end. Mm -hmm. If you look on the end right here. I have, to, I have to have this with my FWC license. And what is that? It tells you where the feed is on the property, where the extra cages, the pillowcases in case of evacuation. Oh, okay. Uh, the inventory list, how many animals are supposed to be in here. Uh, I even take it one step further uh, and every cage is lettered and numbered tells you what snake mm -hmm. is in that cage. And you have the keys in there too. And this is an extra set of keys that you don't really see when you come in the door, but mm -hmm. uh, in case they couldn't find those keys, there's keys in here, uh, you know, extra keys in case of an emergency. Mm -hmm. You just never know. And they come here and expect too. Oh, do they? FWC's been here uh, uh, several times, about every couple, two or three years, FWC will come here and inspect all these animals. Uh, uh, and I've never had a complaint from them. They've been impressed by the way they're locked and contained and the snake house is separated and, and it locks. So even if these snakes get out, they have nowhere to go mm -hmm. as long as that door's closed. Yep. So who's the number one? Number one is, is Gizmo. Mm -hmm. If you'll let me get him out. He makes his own little hide in here. <laughs> That's a lot of lizards. <laughs> now that is a golden tegu, right? This is a golden tegu. They say that you can't never hold these or tame them down. Mm -hmm. And I got one just to prove them that you can do you it. Can. It's just got to be persistent mm -hmm. and constant handling. He still doesn't get handled like he should, mm -hmm. uh, but he's, uh, uh, you can see how healthy his fat little belly is. Yep. Uh, I've never been bit by him, uh, but he will sometimes open his mouth. See there, he gets comfortable and closes his eyes. Sure <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> 
He didn't care. No, he don't. He doesn't really care. As long as he's comfortable and gets a meal. I uh, used to walk him, but the, the leash harness got too small for him. Oh, gee. I used to walk him around the yard just for exercise. But when he gets a little bit bigger, if I still have him, I have a, a chihuahua harness uh, that I'm going <laughs> to put on him. But he's got a big old tongue. Don't you? Huh? <laughs> I would never do this if, <laughs> if I didn't have my hand right here. Because <laughs> they have some ferocious teeth. Yeah, they could do some they damage. Can, they can tear your lips right off your oh, face. Man. So, I wouldn't want to get bit by him. Yeah. But if you do, you do. But uh, he's, he's usually pretty good. Yeah. Aren't you? Huh? Yeah. Pretty good old boy. He eats, he eats um, ground chicken, or ground turkey, a very lean ground turkey, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, adult mice. So, like the Argentine and uh, Argentine tagus, the black and whites, um, they're, I mean, they're all from South America, right? Yeah. So, but where do the, where do the yellow uh, golden tagus come from? from the same places. Mm -hmm. uh, what happens with these is these are more of a meat eater than the rest of them. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other ones you got to feed them more fruits and veggies. Uh, or this guy here, I just make sure he has his uh, calcium uh, D3, but now he gets less of that because he's eating uh, adult mice, which has the bone right. and everything. Mm -hmm. So now he just gets vitamins. They're neat. They're neat. Mm -hmm. uh, you just got to spend a lot of time with them mm -hmm. to get them where you can hold them like this, or they'll they'll flash around, and these fingernails will rip you to shreds mm -hmm. if you don't keep them. I don't know if you can see the fingernails, but I hope I get to keep him and use him for education yeah. if WC will let me. Yeah. Uh, but on the cages, I have to put dangerous animal, mm. which um, <laughs> he looks real dangerous. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. Yeah, so these, nothing I can do about These are one of the animals that they're banning in Florida. Yeah, I understand what they're doing. I just don't agree with how they're doing mm. and punishing people like myself that yep. I've educated all my life. And here I am, almost 70 years old, being told I can't keep a certain animal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it just, I don't, I don't like it, but nothing I can do. But anyway, that's Gizmo. That's Gizmo. Yeah. I think he was like six inches long when I first saw him. <laughs> yeah, he, he was a little guy. Man, they grow fast, too. Don't you? Huh? That's a lot of lizards.